Number nine, question on equilibrium, production of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen. So what we have to do to find out the equilibrium amount is we can set up a table called the initial, the change, and the equilibrium, ICE table, the ICE table. So and then we fill in all the information that's provided to us from the question. We have 2 moles of nitrogen, 6 moles of hydrogen, and 2.4 moles of ammonia at the start. So put all these numbers down. Oh, this will be 3. 2.4. And then we have this extra information. In the end, we have 2.3 moles of nitrogen during equilibrium. So this is the information given. We have to use this information to find out the unknowns here. So the only the first thing we can start off with is finding out how much nitrogen should have changed. We start off with 2, we end up as 2.32. So it must have increased by 0.32. If it increases by 0.32, hydrogen will have to be increased by 3 times. So 0.96. And since we are producing substances on the left side, we must have used up the ammonia, which is on the right side. 0 0.32 moles of nitrogen, you will need two times the amount of ammonia to be used up. So 0 0.32, 0 0.64 must be used. So used up, we put a minus sign. So we have hydrogen, start with 6. We end up with 6.96. Ammonia, we have this starting and they have a change, decreased 1.76. So these are the equilibrium amount of moles. To find the equilibrium constant, we write out the expression, the products, ammonia, concentration square, hydrogen, concentration to the power of 3, nitrogen concentration, and this is where we have to be careful. The table is in the form of moles. So when you do write up, don't forget it equilibrium constant is, is in the in the expressed as concentration. So we have to have the number of moles divided by the volume. In this case, conveniently it is left as one. You realize if it wasn't 1, it was 2 or 3 or whatever it is, you divide it by 2 or 3 and then you would get something that's different from 1.76. So you have to be careful. These are expressed in, constant, uh, in moles, the table. But when you write your KC, do check that the volume you divided by the given volume to get concentration. So in this case, it's all 1. This is for nitrogen, hydrogen. Okay, I swap the two around, so don't mix up. And when we express them out, we take away all the ones. We will have answer A here. Number 10, which one, which one contains 74.2% by mass of sodium? You have to know the formulas and a quick recap on finding out percentages by mass. Sodium carbonate, for example, what we do is we find out the total MR, 23 times 2 plus carbon plus oxygen, 3 of them. This is the total MR. And since we are interested in sodium, there are two sodium that contributes to the total MR. So we have the amount of sodium on top. And then we multiply by 100%. So in this case, we have 46 over 206. Multiply by 100%. It 
it will be 43.4% and you do the rest for their respective MR the answer is D we have sodium oxide so 23 multiplied by 2 because there are 2 sodium plus 1 oxygen this is the total at the bottom and then we have 2 sodium on top we multiply by 100% we get 46 over 23 times 2 plus 16 62 you get around 74.2% okay. and comparatively if you can compare to the rest D will have the highest percentage by mass for sodium Eleven, we have a combustion reaction used to heat up a container of water and question actually is just interested in how much energy actually went into the water so we focus on the water to find out the amount of energy we need data like the mass of the water heated up multiplied by specific heat capacity and the change in temperature so from the table let's see whether we get all these numbers the starting temperature the final temperature the difference will give us the change in temperature so the change is 33 percent or 33 degrees mass of alcohol before and after burning is not relevant to this question mass of glass beaker of water mass of glass beaker this difference will give us the mass of the water so we have 50 grams of water heated up multiplied by specific heat capacity from the data booklet is 4.18 and then the change 33 degrees we multiply them up we will get the energy that water has absorbed in joules okay. that will give us B electrolysis of strontium bromide molten so they are asking why do we need an atmosphere of argon argon is a noble gas so what is happening for this electrolysis is at the cathode your strontium ions will be attracted to it and then they will become strontium metal element strontium metal is a very reactive metal so if you leave it in the presence of air, normal oxygen and all that, it will actually become strontium oxide, okay, metal oxide. So why do we use argon? Argon will replace the oxygen here or replace the atmosphere here and will not or will prevent your strontium to become strontium oxide. Okay, because our aim is to collect strontium anyway. So argon is used to prevent strontium oxide from forming Thirteen metal reacts with water and then the ion that is produced give a white precipitate with sulfuric acid it's another way of saying that the ion forms an insoluble substance with sulfate so here if you get barium we get barium hydroxide and the barium ions will actually react with sulfate ions to get our barium sulfate which is a white precipitate okay. magnesium sulfate potassium sulfate sodium sulfate all are soluble we do not get a precipitate from there Group 2, which properties increases in value? Electronegativity means 
how much it would like to take in an electron it is actually decreasing they find it easier to lose electrons as we go down the group so electron ne negativity is out radius every time we go down the group we increase in one shell so the radius is actually increasing maximum oxidation number for group 2 maximum oxidation number is plus 2 so no change for the whole table second ionization energy energy required to remove a second electron from a positive ion it is actually easier to remove again because the electron is located in an outer shell so ionization energy also decreases you can also check your data booklet okay, and take two group tools to compare you will see that the ionization energy decreases going down the group 